Hello and welcome to our special Splash Gang and Super Gang YouTube channel. It's great to see you. We're going to be posting here uh, some stories and some information to help you grow in Jesus and learn more about him. And these are to follow on from what we learn on a Sunday morning. So Christian is going to help us and uh, uh, as you can see, he's dressing up. He loves dressing up. Do you like dressing up? Well, certainly in lockdown, he's really been dressing up. And he's decided to dress up and find out his favourite Bible story. So can you guess from what Christian is wearing, what Bible story we're going to look at today? Now, I hope you can see there. Oh, don't forget the wig. He just wanted to wear a funny wig. Uh, but we can see there is a crown. So it might have to do with what? Yeah, it might have to do with a king or a ruler. Well, there's lots of stories about kings or rulers in the Bible. Oh, and then what have we got here? Money, 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 money. Lots and lots and lots of money. There's 500, there's 100. There must be millions and millions of pounds there. And, oh, and then there's a one pound. Seems strange. Anyone know what story it is? It's actually a story that Jesus told. And I want us to tell this story. And what I want you to do is I want you to help me and join in with this story, but also think about what this story might mean. And it might have to do with what we thought out about on Sunday, a part of the Lord's Prayer where we say, forgive our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And part of this story Jesus told is to help us understand that. So to help me, what I want you to do is whenever I say king, I want you to go great and powerful one and pretend to put a crown on. So if I say king, you go great and powerful one. When I say the word servant, I want you to go, your humble servant, and bow down. Your humble servant, and bow down. And whenever I say money, I want you to go, money, 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 money. And whenever I say debt, now that's a funny word, debt is something when you owe someone money. Now, a lot of people are debt and most people can pay off their debts, but debts are bad if you can't afford to pay them back. And so they're not good if you can't pay them back. And so whenever I say the word debt, you go, oh dear, oh dear, and wag your finger. So whenever I say king, you go, oh great and powerful one. Whenever I say servant, you go, your humble servant. Whenever I go money, you go money, money, money. And whenever I go debt, you go, Oh dear, are you ready for this story that Jesus told? So do the actions and then begin to think what it might mean. Once there was a king, great and powerful one, who had a servant, your humble servant. And this servant, your humble servant, owed the king, great and powerful one, a lot of money, 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 money. No, a great, 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 great deal of money. Money, 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 money. Did your servant, your humble servant, owe the king, great and powerful one? The trouble was that the servant, your humble servant, couldn't pay his debt. Oh dear. So the king, great and powerful one, said, the king, great and powerful one, he must go to prison. The servant, your humble servant, was brought before the king, great and powerful one. Please have mercy on me, he said, and he fell on his knees and he begged the king, great and powerful one, and the king, great and powerful one, felt sorry for the servant, your humble servant, and forgave him and let him off, let him off all the debt and let him go. Now the servant, your humble servant, went straight out and met a fellow servant, your humble servant. And this other servant, your humble servant, was in debt, oh dear, to the first servant, your humble servant, for just 
a few pounds. Not much money, 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 money at all. It was a very small debt. Oh dear. Pay back the money, 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 that you owe me, said the first servant, you humble servant, the one who the king, great and powerful one, had forgiven. The other servant, your humble servant, begged to be forgiven of the debt. Oh dear. But the first servant, your humble servant, would not forgive him and had him thrown in jail. Hmm. I wonder what the king, great and powerful one, thought of this. The king, great and powerful one, got to hear about the other servant, your humble servant, who owed money, 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 who was in debt, oh dear, to the first servant, your humble servant, whose debt, oh dear, the king, great and powerful one, had forgiven. He was angry, very angry. Very, very, very angry. And he sent the first servant, your humble servant, straight to prison. Because that servant, your humble servant, had had his debt, oh dear, forgiven. But would not forgive a much smaller debt. Oh dear. Hmm. So Jesus told that story. I wonder why he told that story. I wonder who do you think the king, a great and powerful one, is meant to be? And I wonder who the first servant is meant to be? And I wonder who the second servant is meant to be? Can you have a think? Yeah. The king, great and powerful one, is God. And the first thing we learn from this story is we need to know that God is king and we are part of his kingdom. And as we follow him, he is the one who is above all. He is great and powerful and we must worship and love and obey him. And we're like the servant. We all do things that the king doesn't like. We've all made mistakes. We call that sin. And we sin when we don't listen to God. When we don't love him with all our heart, soul, mind and strength. When we don't live as he wants us to live. When we miss the standard he has for us. We all sin. But God lets us off. Doesn't he? he throws the debt away. Isn't that great? Because we believe as Christians, if we come to Jesus, because he died on the cross for us, if we say sorry, God will let us off all our sins all our debts and will forgive us. But what do you think he wants us to do with people who have hurt us or have done wrong things to us? Yeah, he wants us to forgive them. And actually, when we forgive them, it helps us remember that God forgives us. And if we don't forgive others, perhaps we've forgotten or don't believe that God has forgiven us. And so this is so important. If we are part of God's kingdom, if God is our king, then we need to know that as we say, forgive us our sins, we need to know that God forgives us and he loves us and he lets us off. And that's really good. But we also need to be those who know that God has forgiven us by forgiving others. And so perhaps I want you to think, do you know that God has forgiven you, that he's your king and that you love him and you are part of his family? Do you know that he accepts you? And do you know that because he accepts you, you need to forgive others and accept others? And that's why Jesus in that prayer says, Father, forgive our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. That's a great lesson, isn't it? And I hope that we can remember that story of what it is to forgive. And maybe you need to think of people that you need to make friends with again. Perhaps you need to say sorry to some people, or maybe you need to forgive people. And we need to show the love of God to everybody.
So that's today's story on Super Gang. Uh, today, our Super Gang Splash Gang YouTube channel. And what I want you to do is I want you to see two things for you to do. Is I want you to see if you can dress up uh, of a favourite Bible story of yours and send it in. And we might be able to use that and show that on our YouTube channel. Or I want you to think about making a heart and I want you to think about offering God's love to other people. And in that heart, write people that you want to forgive or you want to let them know that God loves you. So thank you for watching our special YouTube channel and we hope to see you again soon. Let me just pray as we close and we're going to pray holiday club style. Are you ready? One, too slow. Are you ready? One, two, three. Lord Jesus, we want to thank you that you are our great and powerful king and we want to follow you and we want to serve you. We want to thank you that even when we get it wrong, even when we make mistakes, when we say sorry, you forgive us. And may each of us know that our sins are forgiven and that you accept us and love us. And Lord Jesus, we pray that as we know that, we will forgive other people. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Bye for now. Say goodbye, Christian. Bye for now.